Solve these tricky equations and inequalities question with teacher Hamilton. When you get any question like this, what we want to do is to ensure that one side is zero, which is uh, already done. This is step two, we want to look at identifying strictly positive or negative terms. Clearly, it is here. Instead of just stating that it's strictly positive or negative, we need to show that it's strictly positive or negative. So let's try to prove coefficient of x squared. In this case, it's one, which is positive. Let's find out d. D is our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. This is equal to minus 3. Clearly, this is negative. Right? So it fulfills the condition of a strictly positive term. Okay, let's just write down our polynomial x squared minus 3x plus 3 is strictly positive. Good, strictly positive terms means we can divide both sides by the term and does not affect the sign of the inequality. And now we will have our simplified inequality to be exception. Now let's identify the critical values or we can say the roots of this equation. We have minus 1 and 3. Let's take note of which critical values can and cannot solve the equation. Those in the numerator can solve the equation. Those in the denominator cannot. Now let's draw the number line. We have minus 1 and 3 is the x value. The exam strategy that I want to have to highlight how uh, we can do this efficiently is to sub x equals to 0. So on our number line, we find x equals to 0. The school method is to use a calculator to solve for each region. But the shorter method that is more practical for exams, we can sub x equals to 0. We can see the left-hand side is 1 third. Therefore, this part, it is positive. Right? For n degree polynomials, the sign is negative because the signs are alternating. So we see x more than or equal to 0 with our number line here. Then I want the positive region. Therefore, the answer is between negative 1 and 3. But wait, we cannot include negative uh, we can't include 3 in the solution, but we can include negative 1. So we'll have a covered dot here. This is our circle. Therefore, x must be between negative 1 and 3 exclusive.